Here's the quick and easy way to send an email in our Go High Level software. So this is assuming that you've already gone into contacts and imported your list. You can do that right here. Just upload your CSV file from QuickBooks or any other service. Every mailing list database service does Excel, right? So just upload it there. So this is assuming that's already done. Then, and there's another separate video for that. Then you're gonna go to marketing and emails. Now, we can automatically pop all of these emails into your software for free. All you need to do is email me or one of my team and we'll pop it in there for you for free. Then you're gonna be looking at this. When you go to marketing and go, go to emails, you'll have all of them here. Now, the other thing that you're gonna to need to do that we've got another video is putting in your custom values. When those are already done, you put in your, your logo once, your phone number once, your offer once, your phone number, all of that, your website, all of that one time, and then it's gonna automatically show up and I'll show you how that works. So you go to marketing and you go to emails and then all you need to do is check out the email, make sure it's all good for you to go. And here's how the all of that automatic popping into the phone numbers and, and logo and stuff worked is we've already put in a code in the back end of this. If you really wanna see it, you can click on here. Just don't change anything because you might mess the code up. But then as well, you can see the code a little bit better down here. This code, once you put it in that custom values area under the settings and custom values, it'll automatically show up in all of the emails. So you don't have to go in, not only do you not have to write the email, but you do not have to go in and individually add your website, phone number, logo, your referral program information, any of that. You put it in once, done. Your website link, done. Your Facebook link, your YouTube link, one time, done, right? And all of the emails, so that's what makes this really, really neat to do. And, and super, super simple. So here's how you actually send the email. You go to, first, First, I recommend that you test it. Uh, you know, go ahead and test it just to make sure that all of the custom values are set the right way. Just click there, put in your first name and last name. When you test it, you're gonna look at something like, well, this is a different email that we just recently did, but something like this, or you've got your logo actually there and your phone number's actually there instead of that code and then the links to your, if you put everything in there correctly, it should all show up perfectly, just like that, right? And if that's not happening, first you need to fix that. If you need help, contact one of us and we can see if we can help you. So then you need to go in and review and send. So you just click on this link right here and it's gonna need you to select recipients. You can click that over here and you can either select everybody on your contact list or you can actually have a smart list or people that are tagged for certain things. You can actually select your people that are tagged. The first people that you imported in, you might have tagged it. And that's really based on what you called it in that tag area or when you import somebody in. We've got another video for that on how to deal with tags. If you don't have them tagged, you can go in now and tag them before you do this. Or you can just send them to everybody, right? If you want to send them to everybody, just click all contacts. If you have a smart list, a separate type of smart list, you do there. But it's very, very adaptable. Now, if you're using the free version of Send in Blue, I recommend that you send in drip mode. You can send all of them if you'd like. I think it's going to require some type of a payment and or a monthly subscription with Send in Blue. But you can send 300 emails a day. Now, if you've got less than 300 emails, then not a big deal. Just send them all now. If it's more than 300, like in this case, you want to send in drip mode. How many do you want to send today? I'd probably recommend 200, depending on, you might be sending other emails for reminders and things like that, but less than 300, obviously. And then you want to repeat after usually one day. And uh, that way you're not going to send more than your allotment and it's still the free version. That's all you got to do. It's just going to send today and send another day. Ideally, I recommend that you send probably a Tuesday or Wednesday for this type of thing. Maybe a Thursday if you'd like to, but not a Friday, not Saturday, not Sunday. And then review and send. And I don't want to actually go and trigger this one yet, but just go review and send and that's it. You're done. Now, there are other avenues of actually doing this. Um, actually, I think I will go ahead and just schedule this one. Uh, we don't want to schedule it for today. We want to schedule it. We want to also have a subject line. The subject line should probably already be automatically in there. If it's not, you can go ahead and pop it in there. We want to go ahead and schedule this one for probably Tuesday or might be good we're gonna repeat after one day and that's it so we're gonna review and send and then schedule see how simple this is there you go now there are other ways to send emails as well 
this is just one way um, so let's go ahead and exit and then you should be able to see that under scheduled emails right here and that way you can check on how that's doing after it's sent you can check on it for sent now there are other ways to send them as far as a uh, automation process this is the way that you would send a broadcast email similar to how constant contact MailChimp all of those programs would actually work where you mail it to everybody based on a tag or based on a specific list, right? Super, super easy, works just like all the other email software. The other great things that this actually does is you can also get into campaigns and you can schedule like a system of reminders based on when they signed up. So that's why we also have a reminder system for emails to past clients for after cleaning uh, reminders after six months that type of thing we also do have another system where it can set up to where when they sign up everybody gets the email just based on the months but we're finding out for this part of it though is it's just a bit cumbersome because who you get in for new people aren't going to actually go into this process I don't want to uh, confuse anybody about that but we at first we we're originally doing them this way but now we're just going to originally send them by going to the email and you just individually looking at them and scheduling them. So this is what we're finding out too, is you guys need to check it out for your own company first. By the way, I just showed you as well. You need to just make sure it's good to go for your company. Everything, you might wanna change the offer. You might wanna change some stuff in there, which by the way too, if you did even wanna change the offer, you could just generally have the offer to where it's just the one offer in the custom value, or you can go down here and you can delete this code that's right here. Um, I'd probably recommend that you keep the referral one the same, but this one that's the custom value for the special offer, you can change this now to whatever you wanted to change this to. You know, put, you know, free $50 in cleaning. And maybe that's not what you had before for your custom value that goes into every email, but maybe you want to change it. All you have to do is delete that code, click save, and now that's changed. So pretty easy. Again, just like all the other email software, small learning curve to first learn it, but Test it out, make sure you do the test email before you put it out to make sure it's going well, then review and send it, boom, you're done.